Tag and tip decorating is one of the most fundamental skills for cake and dessert decorating. But first, you have to learn how to prepare the decorating bag. I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. One is with a coupler and one is without. If you're going to be using the same bag of icing with multiple tips, you're going to want to use a coupler. A coupler is a two-part. It has a base and it has a ring. To prepare your bag with a coupler, you're going to go ahead and open your decorating bag and insert the pointy end of the coupler down towards the end. You're going to take your scissors and you're going to want to mark the coupler just slightly below, about a quarter of an inch below that bottom thread, just like this. I think I got a mark there. And then you're going to go ahead and push the coupler back out. Take your scissors and just clip it off right at that point. And then push the coupler, the pointy end, right through the bottom of your bag. And then you're going to take your tip, place it over the coupler, and then your ring, and twist and lock it into place. Now I'm going to show you how to fit a bag without a coupler, which is really great for when you're using just one tip or a large tip like the 789, 2D, or 1M. This is a 16-inch bag, and as you can see, it's a lot bigger than the 12-inch. This is perfect when you're going to be doing like cupcake swirls or anything where you're going to be using more icing. It's so easy to do this. You just take your tip, and you're gonna drop it directly down into the bottom of the bag. We're gonna go ahead and make a mark a little bit lower than the halfway mark with my scissors here. You wanna make sure it's a bit lower than halfway because sometimes when you're putting pressure on the bag, if you got lots of icing in there, it can actually push the tip right out through the bottom and you don't want that to happen. So all you have to do is push the tip back Take your scissors, and hopefully I can see my mark here, and just clip it off right there at that point, and push the tip back through the bottom of the bag. The key to properly filling a bag is to not overfill it. It's really tempting to put a lot of icing in the bag so you don't have to go back and refill it later, but it's gonna be hard to squeeze and hard to control. So I'm just gonna be using a half a cup of icing as I fill this bag. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cuff back the top about halfway. Making sure the top is open. I'm gonna put my hand just right underneath that cuff, holding on to the bottom of the bag. With my angled spatula, I'm going to go ahead and just scoop up this icing. And there's about a half a cup in here. And I'm going to put the spatula down inside of the bag. So I'm just going to squeeze the tip of the spatula with my fingers and I'm going to just pull it right out. So the icing is in the bag and not on my spatula. So I'm going to go ahead and put a whole half a cup in here. Just the same process every time. And you can see that this is just about a half a cup. I'm going to go ahead and fold the top of my bag back up and then gently squeeze the icing down into the bottom of the tip. Now I'm going to show you how to hold the bag. Learning how to hold the bag is going to help you achieve even piping. The first thing we need to do is twist the back of the bag and with either a rubber band or a bag tie, you're going to go ahead and secure the back if you'd like. You don't have to do this, but it helps, especially for beginners. The most important thing to remember is you're going to be using the palm of your hand to put pressure on the decorating bag. This is going to help your hand from getting tired. If you're using the top of your hand or the bottom of your hand to squeeze or put pressure on the bag, it's going to fatigue really quickly. So you want to make sure that you don't overfill the bag. 
This is a common mistake for beginners. Just remember, less icing in the bag is going to make it easier to squeeze and to control. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to take the twisted part of the bag and I'm going to place it right between my, the crease in my hand, between my thumb and my forefinger, just like this. And that's going to remind me to wrap my palm around the bag. You can take your, your forefinger or your middle finger and go ahead and put it on the coupler ring and that will help you steady the bag as you start to pipe. You're always going to want to practice a little bit before you start decorating. You can do that on wax paper or a cutting board or any kind of flat surface. But I have a cake circle here and I'm going to make a few stars. Doing a test like this will help you warm up before you decorate. Play around with it, practice, and you're going to get the hang of it.